From messy coup d'etats and bloody wars to other forms of violence and attacks on national leaders, African presidents have all the reasons to take their personal security a little too seriously. Presidents of all nations must be protected, but the extent to which these leaders and countries vary. Just how wild are some African leaders willing to go just to protect themselves from any form of aggression? Do these measures keep them hidden from the ordinary folk who voted for them? In this video, we will look at the top 10 most heavily protected African presidents. From plush motorcades to supermax protection vehicles and assassin guards, these African presidents are at the top. Number 10. Mamadi Dumbuya At number 10, we have Mamadi Dumbuya. Mamadi, the interim president of Guinea, is considered one of the most protected African presidents due to his extensive military background and experience. As a former French legionnaire and the leader of Guinea's elite special forces group, Dom Bouya has access to advanced surveillance systems, secure communication networks, and highly trained security personnel, including the Presidential Guard and specialized counterterrorism units. He has served in various international missions, giving him connections with other military leaders in the region. Dombuya has also implemented strict operational tactics such as secure motorcade protocols and real-time monitoring to ensure his safety. Additionally, Guinea allocates significant national resources and budget for security and intelligence agencies, providing Dombuya with the necessary financial support to maintain his protection. He is surrounded by several military officers who double as his bodyguards and ride an armored motorcade that looks ready for a battle anytime. His countless bodyguards and combat-like vehicles make him fearful enough and are indeed telling of how much he prioritizes his security. Mamadi led a successful coup d'etat overthrowing Alpha Conde, the former president who decided to change the country's constitution to remain in office for a third term a common decision for leaders clutching to power. Number 9. William Ruto William Ruto's personal security detail is a comprehensive and robust effort involving the Kenya Defense Forces, KDF, National Police Service, NPS, National Intelligence Service, NIS, and Kenya Prison Service, KPS, each providing specialized personnel and resources to ensure his safety. Ruto has been nicknamed the Flying President due to his love for flying for official meetings. Perhaps he believes the air is safer than the land. On 28th July 2017, his home was attacked by an armed person injuring the police officer on duty. Fortunately, neither Ruto nor his family were at the compound. He was at a campaign rally. Reports indicated the attack was staged by multiple persons, but the Kenyan police chief declared everything under control. Today, Ruto's motorcade follows strict protocols, including advanced reconnaissance and real-time monitoring, and is supported by specialized units for high-risk operations, such as counter-terrorism and hostage rescue. The security detail employs advanced operational tactics, including real-time monitoring and advanced reconnaissance and utilizes advanced surveillance systems, secure communication networks, and encrypted data transmission to monitor and protect the president. The Kenyan government allocates significant resources to the president's security detail, and Kenya receives support from international organizations like the African Union and the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, providing additional security assistance and diplomatic backing. Number 8. Paul Bia. Paul Bia, Cameroon's long-serving president for over 30 years, commands an extensive and costly security apparatus. His protection detail includes the elite presidential guard, responsible for his safety during domestic and international travels with trips abroad costing up to $65 million. Bia adheres to stringent motorcade protocols with advanced reconnaissance and real-time monitoring. He has access to a private plane with standby costs reaching $157,000 per day for two weeks. His entourage, including family, advisors, and security personnel, often occupies luxury accommodations like the Intercontinental Geneva at around $40,000 per day. 
Cameroon allocates substantial funds to defense, supplemented by international support to maintain specialized security units safeguarding BIA through high-risk operations. Number 7. Abdel Fattah El Sisi Abdel Fattah El Sisi, the incumbent president of Egypt since 2014, is one of the most protected heads of state on the African continent. A former military officer who assumed the presidency after the removal of Mohamed Morsi, El Sisi commands an extensive security apparatus befitting his status. His personal protection detail comprises elite units drawn from the Egyptian armed forces, including military intelligence and special forces personnel trained to handle high-risk operations. Advanced surveillance systems and encrypted communication networks provide real-time monitoring and intelligence to safeguard the president. El Sisi was recently sworn in for his third term, which is expected to extend until 2030. He travels under stringent security protocols with his motorcade adhering to strict formation and reconnaissance measures. The president's convoy includes a fleet of armored luxury vehicles, such as his iconic black plate Mercedes X-Class. Egypt allocates significant budgetary resources to its security and intelligence infrastructure, ensuring the president has access to cutting-edge equipment and technology. Private security firms licensed by the Ministry of Interior further supplement LCC's formidable security entourage. This multi-layered protective framework solidifies El Sisi's position as one of the preeminent protected leaders across the African continent, underscoring Egypt's commitment to ensuring the utmost safety for its head of state. Number 6. Cyril Ramaphosa President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa benefits from a robust security apparatus commensurate with his office. His motorcade boasts a customized BMW complemented by an elite presidential guard contingent solely dedicated to ensuring his inviolable safety. For official engagements, Ramaphosa's security entourage is bolstered by substantial police reinforcements, including over 20 motorcycle outriders. Recent footage revealed his unwavering protection, with six close protection officers vigilantly flanking him, attentively scanning for threats. Their seamless coordination epitomizes rigorous training. This multi-layered $50 million annual security framework encompassing physical protection and specialized transportation exemplifies South Africa's commitment to safeguarding its head of state, enabling Ramaphosa's duties with utmost assurance. Number 5. Bola Tinubu President Bola Tinubu of Nigeria commands one of the largest and most formidable security details on the African continent a testament to the nation's commitment to ensuring the utmost safety for its head of state. His protection encompasses a vast contingent of highly trained police bodyguards who maintain constant vigilance during the president's engagements. Tinubu's official vehicle is a high-speed armored Mercedes-Benz designed to withstand potential threats. His motorcade is among the most impressive in Africa, comprising a substantial fleet of vehicles and personnel. For official visits, the president is accompanied by an extensive security retinue exceeding 10 close protection officers, underscoring the meticulous measures in place to safeguard Nigeria's paramount leader. Number 4. Emerson Nangagwa in the wake of Zimbabwe's recent civil unrest and turmoil, President Emerson Mnangagwa has prioritized fortifying his personal security measures. The nation's volatile climate has necessitated extreme precautions, particularly during the president's domestic and international travels. Mnangagwa's motorcade comprises an imposing armored limousine flanked by a retinue of high-speed motorcycle outriders, ensuring rapid mobility and enhanced protection. His substantial security detail, comprised of numerous highly trained bodyguards, maintains an unwavering vigilance, safeguarding the president's well-being at all times. This comprehensive security infrastructure underscores Zimbabwe's commitment to preserving the safety of its head of state amidst the nation's complex socio-political landscape. Number 3. King Mohammed 
King Mohammed VI of Morocco commands an elite security entourage befitting his status as one of the world's wealthiest and most influential Muslim leaders. His convoy consists of armored luxury vehicles, including a Mercedes 600 Pullman within Morocco and a fleet of Mercedes-Benz S500s, Range Rovers and BMW communication units for travel, a contingent of high-speed motorcycle outriders and an ambulance accompany the King's motorcade, ensuring rapid response capabilities. This multi-layered protective detail, comprising advanced armored transport and a rapid reaction force, reflects Morocco's commitment to providing unwavering security to its monarch, who ranks among the most influential Muslim figures globally. The substantial resources dedicated to King Mohammed VI's safety underscore his preeminent position. Number 2. Alassane Ouattara the security personnel tasked with safeguarding Ivory Coast's President Alassane Ouattara epitomize unwavering dedication to their duties. On every official engagement, Ouattara's convoy is accompanied by a contingent of guards who follow on foot until the president is out of public view. This extraordinary measure underscores the lengths to which his security detail will go to ensure his safety. Ouattara's primary transportation is an armored Toyota Land Cruiser, while his motorcade is reinforced by a substantial motorcycle escort. The president's movements are meticulously choreographed, with multiple layers of security implementing robust protocols to mitigate potential threats. This comprehensive approach showcases Ivory Coast's steadfast commitment to providing its head of state with an impenetrable protective shield. Number one. Paul Kagame, the most protected African president, Paul Kagame. This man is not only controversial, but has come from the military, and he sure knows how to protect himself against the many enemies his gains. Kagame commands the 400-member presidential guard, augmented by support from the 33,000-strong Rwandan armed forces and intelligence agencies. Rwanda has invested over $100 million in state-of-the-art surveillance systems, encrypted communications, and an armored Range Rover Sentinel for the president's motorcade. His entourage includes 20 land cruisers, 40 motorcycles, and 200 police military personnel. Counterterrorism units and international security experts bolster protection. Significantly, 15% of Rwanda's national budget, exceeding $500 million annually, is dedicated to ensuring Kagame's unwavering safety and security as the nation's head of state. Paul Kagame's presidential car is an armored Range Rover Sentinel. His entourage also consists of several land cruisers and motorcycles with numerous police and military officials. Rwanda also receives support from international organizations, and the president has access to a team of elite personnel, including former military officers and security experts, to bolster his protection. Underpinning this comprehensive security apparatus is a significant allocation of national resources and budget to ensure the president's safety and security. Presidents like Paul Bia have maintained power for three decades, showing that something must be working for him. Which of these presidents do you think is the most protected and who did we miss? Let us know in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to TSN for exciting content like this.